Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Virgo for the month of December. I am using the Gilded Tarot this month along with Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels and I will also pull one card from my Moonology Oracle deck. All right, if you're new to my channel or if you are an existing subscriber, I just want to remind you that this is a general reading. It is not meant for every Virgo out there. Okay, so if the reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't resonate, you can always get an e you can always get a reading from me. I will leave my email at the bottom of the video. Uh, once you send me an email, I'll get back to you within 24 hours, and my turnaround time is less than five days. Okay, a little bit about myself. I am a clairsentient, clairvoyant, which means as a clairsentient, it's a heightened form of empathy and I can feel what other people feel and I can feel past, present and future with that. If you are looking uh, for some testimonials, go on to my community tab and you will see I've started having people send in testimonials uh, you know, when they get a reading and um, you can go through those and you can see um, what people have to say. I read people, that's where I shine and I do my best work. And I would say I'm usually about 90% accurate when it comes to reading somebody. So I pick up their emotions and their feelings. I pick up love if they feel love. I pick up insecurity if I feel like insecure or anger or whatever the case is. Okay. All right. So I'll start shuffling the cards. The way I do my uh, card readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till one card falls out. All right. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of December? Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. You guys want stability this month. I feel like you guys need something more stable in your life this month. So I don't know what that means because like I said, all of you guys walk different paths. So it's really hard to for me to pick up exactly what it is about. I feel like there's been so much turmoil and disruption in your life in the last a uh, few months that you're just looking for things to settle down a little bit and so that is what I'm picking up is you guys are just wanting some stability this month you want things to go smoothly and so we'll see what the cards say what are the messages for Virgo for the month of December Virgo for the month of December Virgo for the month of December all right this has come out a lot Knight of Cups Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of December? Virgo for the month of December. The chariot. What are the messages for Virgo for the month of December? Page of Pentacles. I want to make sure you guys can see all these cards. What are the messages for Virgo for the end of December or for December Virgo for December I think a card flipped over here nope maybe not all right Virgo for the month of December Virgo 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 Three of Pentacles. What are the messages for Virgo? Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. Ten of Swords. Virgo for the month of December. The devil. Virgo for the month of December. Queen of Cups. Hopefully you guys can see that. Five of Cups. 
Virgo for the month of December. And we have the Empress. I'm just going to make sure everything you can see in here. I'm going to try and get this up a little higher so you guys can. Okay. Whoops. Sorry about that. There, that may be a little bit better. Okay. All right, so the first card we have here is the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords speaks to me about you feel like things are over. You know, you um, feel like, you know, there's an ending here. And it is about um, hitting, hitting rock bottom. And it's about a complete and painful ending. So either this is what you're going through right now, or um, how you feel like this relationship or whatever the situation is that's um, going on in your life. So this is the general energy here. I'm trying to make this a little bit better. This is the general energy here is you're feeling like you've hit rock bottom. Okay. Now, right beside it is the devil card. And this could be an addiction. Um, an addiction to a situation. The devil card talks about addiction, greed, envy, compulsion. It's being um, addicted to something. I don't know if it's the situation. Like you feel like you're addicted to the situation and you can't get out of it. It's overtaking your life. All right. We have the Knight of Cups. And you could be, um, it could be someone that you're involved with that wants to offer you something. Either you want to offer or they want to offer you something. It is a Prince Charming. It is romantic love. It's something that you want to offer. I feel like this is you wanting to offer to this Page of Pentacles. Okay. So even this, even though it's a Virgo, you're a Virgo, this represents a water sign person. So that would be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel it's you offering to that person. There's the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is someone who's patient. Um, they have, um, it's a slow moving energy. They're very stable. So I feel like this could be you offering. Okay, with the chariot in the middle, I believe this is you. It's action and change and you want that action and change. Okay, so something is overtaking you. I feel like you're really feeling like you're caught up in this situation and it's overtaking your life. You want to make that offer perhaps to this person here, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. All right, then we have the three of pentacles. So this three of pentacles to me talks about... Um, somebody watching you or you watching somebody work. Now, because I feel this is about love, I feel like you're probably watching somebody, um, someone that you look up to. This person here, you could be looking up to them, okay? But it's too much. It, like you are way, way too much in your head over this. You want this abundance. There's the Empress and Five of Cups, feeling like it's all lost. It's loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. They might have made you feel like that because here you are with the Ten of Swords feeling like it's completely over. But we have the Queen of Swords who is a nurturing person. They help, they heal, they support. Um, I mean, there's a lot of energies here. There's the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Empress. I mean, she represents Libra, I believe. No, sorry, ver um, the sign of Venus. She represents the sign of Venus, okay? But Venus, I believe, is Libra. It rules Libra. So this represents Libra. So, I mean, you could be involved with a Libra person. You're wanting that love and abundance, but I don't feel, I feel like you, you, you can't have it. You feel like you can't have this. I think you have to make the change here. You're the one who has to figure this out. You look at, you look up to this person. There's the three of pentacles. You look up to them. You look up to them for, you know, just, um, who they are as a person. You know, with all this energy here, to me, it seems like it's that instability, right? I was saying in the beginning that there's instability and you want that stability back. I feel like it's overtaking your life big time. 
you know, this is a Capricorn energy as well. So, um, we want that abundance though. We really do. I feel you're like, you're going to get this. You're going to get it, but you have to be the one who takes control. There's the chariot. You're wanting to see there's an offer here and an offer here. We have the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there is an offer that wants to be made. And I feel like you want to be um, supportive and nurturing towards this person that you're involved with. You look up to them. Yeah, I believe that's what's happening. There's the page of pen pentacles. I feel that, you know, this person is really slow moving energy, but there's a lot of growing around them. There's green. That's abundance. Yeah, I think you have to be the one that makes these moves to try and, you know, like it's taking over your life. That's what the devil says here. This devil card, it takes over your life and it really gets you down. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like if you make the moves, like you're the one who has to kind of take control here and make things happen. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let one card fall out from Dorian Virtues, Romance Angels. What are the messages for Virgo? Messages for Virgo. Virgo. Let's see what it says. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's great. And let's see what the moonology says. Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. Messages for Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. Virgo for the month of December. Let's see what the message is. All right. Emotions are running high. Exactly what I've been saying. Look at that there. Okay. That's what that's talking about. Emotions are running high. All right. It's causing you to always feel like this is over and done with. Okay. Got to control those, those, um, emotions. They're in it too. There's the chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here. They are, but it's over. Your emotions are running high and it's overtaking you. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading for all of you Virgos out there. Again, if you would like to get a private reading, if you want to purchase one, Go ahead and email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and the readings will be out within 48 hours. Or sorry, um, under, I'd like to have it within 48 hours, but maximum five days. Okay. All right, everyone, uh, please subscribe, hit that bell, uh, comment, like, thumbs up, share. Uh, the more you do that, then the more these videos will get out into the algorithm. So thank you for watching and have a great month. Bye-bye.